Yo, what up, guys? Mr. Big Russ here. Back with another Let's Play DC Universe Online. Um, basically, if you watched my last two videos, which I posted up last week when the game actually came out, um, I was playing with um, the Joker template character, which is um, this one here. But because I never really done any character creation in it, never went in depth with it, it's just a basic character, pretty much, as a lot of you commented. So I've decided to make a new character and basically just continue where I left on from him. So I'm not going to do the opening mission with them, but just carry on in the bar place where I got to. But I just want to quickly show you my uh, character, as you some you may know the game is Tuesday today so it's been out for officially for a week now and um, I already have my level 30 character and some of you guys may know level 30 is the highest you can get on DC Universe online at the moment and after that you just do the quest again to get more armor and stuff and they're harder and or so on so on. I only hit level 30 yesterday so I haven't really played it that much on him but it's a bit of a shame because I'd like to play a bit more and consider it's only been out for a week and I'm already level 30 you know it's a bit, a bit of a bummer but he does look pretty cool because as you guys may know me and my mate Andy done a let's play commentary with my character I think it was Barry no, that was my playthrough character, Jigsaw, a female character hero. But um, that's because I didn't really like my Jelly Bean character, but then I started to get into him more and we continued that. But nevertheless, that's not what we're here for. We're here for today is my new character, Miss Ivory, I've called her. She's Nature, as you can see. I talk her free because you never saw the character creation. She's a villain. Circe, uh, Circe. Circuri or something, her's mentor. Uh, nature for her power, she's got a staff and she can fly. And I'm playing in the world looking for trouble. I've been trying to get on it a couple of, um, about an hour ago, but I couldn't get on it because the world got shut down for some reason. But hopefully it all should load up fine now. Otherwise, I'll be pretty pissed, I've got to say, guys. <laughs> So yeah, so I'm like I say I'm gonna be continuing with this guy because like I say I've never really done much with my other one and I know now I know a lot more. Obviously with a level thirty character I know a lot more. She's got a nice ass. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so yeah, we're going for a nature power today. I'm just gonna quickly look in my inventory see if I got oh I got a cape. So straight away as you guys know there goes my wings. You see I already put um these gloves and this armor already on her. Um, check this belt on as well. Uh, and we can't use those so. Let's get on with some questing then guys. So I think my first thing I have to do is um go to the vendors. Awesome. awesome. Thanks man. So I just sell these two bizzle whizzles. And that's that. Nicely nice. So um yeah, basically I'm just gonna have to go check my mailroom. As you may be able to tell, um, I have mail. That's the uh, thing. Um, don't really know how to show it. Um, also, because my character can't sort of jump. It's, next, it's under my map, pretty much. That's where it is. It's under my map. So we can see we got a from Calculate. I guess I see that dude there chatting. Um, I'm gonna attach that. Let's see what this badass feels. Oh, that's my quest. You want to be going on an inventory? Epic fail. There we go. Let's see what's happening to her now. Got some little red thing on her eyes. So let's do this. Let's go speak with Blood Priest Streg. Yo, what up, Blood Priest Streg? Cheers, beat. So our first quest: rule the world. Let's go do this shit. So I don't know how many of you guys obviously like to say the game's been out for a week now, and or officially come out on Friday, but for some reason the Steam released on Tuesday, so so it's not really even a week if you could count it as going on Friday. So just like how many of you have actually on a PC, if you got a PC, well, can't you speak PC? Sorry, guys. If any you've got now, or if you've even gone for the PS3, I know a couple of my mates have gone for it on the PS3. Um, and just wonder what you felt. Do you feel it's better on the PS3? Or do you enjoy it on the PC? Would you rather it be on the PC and not be on the PS3, such and such? Sort of just your thoughts on it, because obviously I haven't played with the PS3 version, so I don't know really what it's like. I can see um, how it fits into a PS3 with the way the game sort of method works and the controls and everything. Um, but nevertheless, yeah, I remember <laughs> when you buy it, if you, I don't know if it's still on here now, when you go to upgrade your movement it actually says the way to move faster is by pressing L3 and I'll see if you're a PS3 player, you know that L3 is the left analog stick, so that was a bit of a fail on the PC part, but nevertheless, so we're just, uh, well, so slow compared to normally, you can t I can tell how slow this is already, movement wise, because of, um, because, uh, I haven't got super flight or super speed or whatever. 
So let's beat these bars people up. You see I got my little template bar. Obviously if some of you guys have been asking me because in one of my videos you saw I couldn't change my weapon. Basically what you have to do is with your skill points you have to purchase well you have to unlock them at a certain level. I, I won't have them at the moment. I'm not sure it's like level 7 or something you unlock them. And then basically you can buy the skill point which allows you to use that weapon when you unlock it or you purchase it from a vendor or whatever. That's pretty much how that shizzle wizzle works. Um, let's go find old Cardinalist. What up? Oh, cultist. Cultist, sir. Uh, God, I'm not bad. I'm not good with my name calling these days. <laughs> Need to man up. Alright, let's do this then. It's pretty, pretty easy quest to be honest compared to level 30 quests. As some of you guys may know, if you, I haven't really, I haven't done any commentary on that one yet. I was thinking of doing some with Andy if you're interested in seeing that. Um, basically, what I've been doing is just uploading the boss battles. Uh, I'm uploading. I haven't uploaded the, Vill the Riddler one. I done that last night, so I'm gonna be uploading that shortly. Um, then there was who else did I have to face? Uh, we faced like the Joker, Harvey, uh, loads of people. If you want to check that out, guys, it's in a playlist like Bane and everything. Then some people I don't really know. They're just the main ones that I can remember. So there are a lot of different bosses we faced, and probably there's still quite a few more we do have to face. So yeah, boy. So my initial thoughts, obviously, with being out for a week and whatever, my initial thoughts on DC is, as you may know, my first main thought is everyone is different, like here, my, obviously there's not many characters, it's just, I picked uh, I picked a PvP server, but it's like a brand new server, what's only just come out, so everyone's on like Bloodstorm and that, because that's what the original only two servers were, so I just thought I'd go on this because it's an easy character to play on, and eventually it'll probably get full anyway, so that doesn't bother me too much. So yeah, basically, um, chose to go on this one, and what was I going to say, I was saying something now, I just literally completely went off the ball and forgot what I was going to say. Um, I don't know, I feel like an absolute noob, a bean, or whatever you want to call me, because I just literally forgot exactly what I was going to say. Oh, that's what, talking about the difference. Um, everyone's different, obviously you can see my character is different now, obviously there's no one to compare it to, but you're most likely, I, well I certainly haven't found anyone what looks near enough the same to me really, because obviously within WoW, obviously I never played WoW that much, so I, I can't be 100% accurate on what I'm saying, so if any hardcore WoW players are listening, you know, you might want to close your ears, because I could be wrong in what I'm saying, but I think, I think I'm right after speaking to some people that you couldn't have this sort of level creation of WoW with the character's design and everything. You can pick up like armor and stuff which changed your character but you can choose everything on here like color, haircut, outfit and everything. I think that's really cool that you can just go around and there's so many people like in the PvP events and just flying through the city and everyone's just different which is really cool. Um, I like the control method. A lot of people, I think that's what the main people are putting people off the game is the way the control method sort of works. Is sort of a lot of button bashing to be honest and then like just literally pushing down on the left trigger and right trigger and shift where you need to block or you need to get stunned or something pretty much and um, then you just have your magic powers like set to 1 to 8 and that's one of the bad things what I don't like I know you can I'm pretty sure there's a button you can press which switches them around so you can have like two spell bars but um, you only have that 1 to 8 and that's all you can have and if you want to change them you just have to change them in the menu so um, it's not a massively bad thing but it'd be nice just to have it down from the side on there Boom, ding, level 4, that's pretty nice, just like my skill point a second after we finish this, don't know what exactly what I'm doing, <coughs> sorry guys, a bit of a, a little bit of a cold, so yeah I'm moving house next week so I'm literally trying to get in as much DC Universe gameplay as I can, cause I'm, or this weekend I'm moving it, so I'm being packing and stuff, so I'm getting ready to move up there, and I'm not going to be able to have the internet for like, uh, or the main reason why I'm leaving it so late for me to move up there is so I can have the internet when I go straight up there, but I'm going to have to probably wait a day without the internet, so it's like, it's just death, you know, I can't, I can't think what I'm going to do, so probably whip out the PS3, because as some of you guys know, I have not been on my PS3 for a good month, since, since last year at least watching a f like a blu-ray or something I haven't played any games I don't think I've even been online there since for that long so <laughs> yeah the PS3 has been a bit um, lonely since like all these games come out like DC Universe and Starcraft and a bit of WoW and obviously the Steam sale and stuff like so I've got, got so many PC games now it's just like literally on the computer look at the internet to play a game on here instead so so yeah so let's see what quest we got there oh. 
complete two quests. Boom, boom. It's nice. Alright, let's have a look at our PowerPoints we got. So we have plant shapeshift tomorrow. So what shapes this shit? Oh, I can't even speak today. Shapeshift has to do this. Increase all damage by 35% at least. Nah, I want to see if... It, I'm pretty sure nature can heal their saddles. That was one of the reasons I wanted to sort of go as nature. Um, def oh, I can't be level 10 for that. Let's see what plants do. Oh, that's restores health to the most injured group mate or yourself. That's pretty cool. Creates a shield to knock enemies away. Summons a violent eruption of plant life to knock down nearby enemies. That's pretty cool. I think I'm going to go for healthy, I think. And <coughs> for... Um, oh, I can't even think what they're called now. In t oh, this is just such a drawn a blank um, mind blank today. Uh, inquest, incest, <laughs> incest. <laughs> no, that's certainly not what it is. Um, let's have a look what it says here. Wait, why? That's why. There's alerts, legends, raids, vaults, and stores. Instances, that's what it's instances. It's all like that, you know, you always need a healer. Or it's nice to have a healer, especially on the big level ones. So I thought I'd go as nature, because I can use the cool stuff as well. Along with the nature. So that'd be the reason why that. So let's see what we're going to do then. Let's go to this box and mess up some people. Do, 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 do. Come on, boy. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Boom, boom, boom. The citizen's gonna stay in my room. Not you, mate. You can go fuck off. Boom. Oh, no, I gotta beat up this bitch. What's all that about? <coughs> so, yeah, currently at the moment, guys, I'm. Um, trying to work on my website, if some of you guys may know, um, if you go on my website at the moment, it's www.2009eclipse.co.uk, but as some of you know, if you go on there, none of the links actually properly work on there, because when I originally built the website, I wasn't 100% happy with the way it looked, so I decided not to link everything up, or continue work on it, so I've literally built a new one now, and it's a bit of flash that's involved in it, and everything, so it looks pretty nice, but I'm just sort of, um, working on fixing it all up together pretty much the way I've got to do it and um, hopefully have something up by the end of the month so you can literally allow you to find the latest news what's sort of going on with the YouTube channel what I'm sort of up to if any of you guys are interested in that probably not <laughs> but um, you can find my latest video uh, like all the links to videos so instead of if you can't find a video then you're going to find it on there so I'll have all links it'll be like part one part two part three and so on and so on so it's quite useful for the walkthroughs I've done which I haven't done one for quite a while, as there's not been, as you guys may know, there haven't been any real but big games out recently, to be honest. Obviously, Little Big Plant 2 is out at the end of this week, and possibly we'll get that, but I don't know how long I'll keep on hold of it for, but I expect I may get that. Um, also, there's what else has come out? Dead Space 2, it's next, end of next month, that comes out. Uh, um, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 comes out at the end of next month. Uh, what else we got? Um, Killzone 2 comes out next month as well. Uh, can't even think what else. And True Crime, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if that's the end of this month. I really like True Crime. I think I think it is March. Though. I'm not sure. I'm not absolutely sure. But you know, there's a couple of good games coming out this year, like Brink. Uh, like Killzone's gonna be good. Infamous 2. Um, Uncharted 3, that's near the end of the year though, um, that should be good. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of cool games coming out this year, which would be good fun to play on. So it's a shame there was no real big games that come out the end of last year, which was a bit of a, a bit of a shame. But there we go, that's that sort of goes. Oh, the innocent essence. So we need to find some innocent essence. I think I need to go onto the roof for this shit. Let's go to the roof and see what's happening. Do, do, do. Boom, 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 boom. So yes, yeah, sound as a pound. Pwn and this shit is all up. we attacked by something, we got some little warfare going on over here. Knock them out, boom. Quite like um, with the actual staff as well, but it's just staff, whatever it is. You can also like do the shoot and stuff or whatever. Shoots like a sort of like a bow and arrow sort of thing, which is pretty cool. 